Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So construction estimate, ito yung continuation ng ating estimate nung nakaraan na video which is yung concrete estimate. So dito pag-aaral natin kung paano nga ba i-compute or i-estimate yung CHB, mortar filler and plaster o yung tinatawag na palitada. So let's start. So dun sa requirements and procedure So, same floor plan yung ating gagamitin and naglagay ako ng image ng hollow blocks na merong uh, weed. Ito, nakareflect din yung hollow cell. So, masonry, ito yung requirements natin. Concrete hollow blocks, mortar pillar and plaster o yung palitada. So, dun sa mortar pillar natin, ang ginagamit lang dyan, cement and sand. And yung structure na i-estimate natin, exterior wall, and interior wall. So, yung exterior wall natin, ito yung nasa perimeter. And yung interior wall natin na 4 inch, ito yung wall doon sa CR. So, okay. I-compute muna natin yung area ng walls para ma-determine natin ilan ba yung requirements na CHB, cement, and sand. So, unahin na natin yung exterior wall under roof beam. So, ito yan. So, kailangan natin yung details ng floor plan, detail or yung section ng wall footing, and syempre yung elevation para dun sa height. Okay, para dun sa wall gross area under roof beam, ang gross area natin is perimeter multiplied by height. So, yung perimeter natin, Uh, compute muna natin. So, ito yung 5.3 less natin yung tatlong width ng column which is yung column natin. Ang size niya is 0.25. So, left and right, multiply by 2. Then, yung front and back natin is 5 minus 0.25 dalawang 0.25 yan kasi dalawang column yun nasa likod natin at sa harapan. Then, multiply by 2. Then, perimeter natin, 18.1 meters. So, yung height natin, ito yung elevation natin, front elevation, 3.1. Pero, syempre, since yung uh, dimension yan is galing dun sa top ng roof beam, kailangan natin i-less yung 0.3 para ang makonsider lang natin yung height talaga mismo ng CHB. Then, syempre, add natin yung 0.4. Yung 0.4, galing yan doon sa ilalim ng NGL. So, ito yung nakalubog na CHB which is 0.4 so dalawang patong ng CHB yan ok so ang gross area natin is 18.1 meters in perimeter multiply by 3.2 is equal to 57.92 square meters then dun sa exterior wall natin above roof beam so ito yan yung triangle na nakikita natin so compute natin yung area so gross area above roof beam is equal to 1 half base times height. Since yung wall above ng roof beam is triangle, so formula lang area ng triangle is 1 half base times height. So, gross area is equal to 1 half multiplied by 5. Yung base natin, ito, 5 meters. Then yung height natin, 1 meter. So, yung area natin ay 2.5. Since dalawa yung ating triangular shape na wall above roof beam, dun sa front and dun sa rear or back so multiply natin by 2 so ang gross area mo above roof beam is 5 square meters so compute na natin yung net area for exterior wall so sa net area ang computation natin is gross area less yung area ng doors and window opening so ngayon sa so pag compute natin ng gross area add natin yung area below roof beam and area above roof beam. So, ito yan, 57.92 plus 5 square meters is equal to 62.92 square meters. Then, less natin ngayon yung door area. So, ang door area natin, so, pansinin nyo dun sa floor plan, meron tayong D1. So, dalawang D1 yan and yung size ng doors natin or yung D1 makikita dun sa schedule of doors and windows. So, yung D1 natin is 2.1 by 0.9. Since dalawa yan, multiply by 2, 3.78 square meters. 
And dun sa window naman natin, window area. So, ang window natin, meron tayo window 1, 4 sets. Spare dun sa schedule of doors and window. Nakalagay dyan, 4 sets. And, meron tayong 0.6 by 0.8. Single lang yan. Then, dun sa window 3, yun nasa CR, 0.5 by 0.4. So, ang net area natin, 62.92 less 3.78 less 4.2. So, ang net area natin for exterior wall is 54.94 square meters. Okay, so proceed naman tayo dun sa interior wall. So, computation ng gross area for interior wall is equal to perimeter multiplied by height. Ang perimeter natin, so ito yan, may dimension, 1.63 plus 1.1 plus 1.63 So, wag nyo muna i-consider yung width ng opening kasi mamaya i-compute natin yung area nyan So, yung height natin gaya nung sa exterior wall So, yung height 3.1 minus 0.3 yung depth ng beam or no roof beam plus 0.4 is equal to 3.2 Then, gross area 4.36 multiplied by 3.2 is equal to 13.952 Okay, so net area, net area of interior wall. So, wall net area is equal to gross area less natin yung door area. So, ang gross area mo is 13.952 and then door area mo is 2.1 by 0.6. Ito, andun sa schedule of doors and windows. And, syempre, isa lang yan. So, ang area nyan is 1.26. The net area natin, 13.952 less mo ng 1.26 is equal to 12.692 square meters. So, summarize na natin yung CHB natin. So, meron tayong net area for exterior wall, 5 inches na CHB. Interior wall for 4 inches CHB. So, ito yung ating required quantity for CHB. 54.94 multiplied by 12.5 is equal to 686.75 or i-round up na natin 687 and dun sa 4 inches 12.692 multiplied by 12.5 is equal to 158.65 or 159 pieces ngayon saan ba galing yung 12.5 na multiplier natin so, dito galing yan. Since in every 1 square meter, ang papasok dyan na CHB is 12.5. So, kinumpute muna natin, dito, natin yung total square meter or area na merong CHB. Then, multiply natin by 12.5 para mas mabilis. Okay. So, dun naman tayo sa CHB mortar pillar. So, ito yan. Yung nilalagyan natin ng mortar pillar is yung hollow cell and yung uh, layer in between doon sa CHB natin. So, normally, ang ginagamit yan is 12mm. Okay. So, meron ding volume method na ginagamit para sa mortar pillar. Pero, ang gagamitin natin is area method. So, kailangan natin yung computed na area kanina for exterior and interior wall so area method kailangan natin gamit ng tabulation or tabulated data as multiplier para dun sa ating interior and exterior wall so yung size nating CHB 10 by 20 by 40 yan yung 4 inches and gagamitin natin for this tutorial is yung class B and syempre, pangalawa yung ating 5 inches na CHB, yung 12.5 by 20 by 40. And ito yung multiplier para dun sa sand. So, okay. Ito yung summary ng ating areas kanina. So, ito yung sa 5 inches, 54.94. And for 4 inches, 12.692. So, kuha nila natin yung multiplier from class B. So, ito yon, Yung sa 5 inches, 0.77 and yung sa 4 inches, 
0.22 So ang required na cement natin for 40 kg bag of cement is 43 para dun sa 5 inches and para sa 4 inches is 7 and doon sa sand in cubic meters multiply natin yung 54.94 doon sa 0 0.06395 is equal to 3.55 cubic and for 4 inches 12.692 multiplied by 0 0.0435 is equal to 0 0.552 cubic meters Okay, baka magtanong kayo bakit walang uh, data doon sa class C and class D. Actually, wala talagang data or doon sa tabulation, or sa original table, wala yung para doon sa 5 inches na CHB. Ito yung 12.5. So, ang ginawa ko, gumamit ako ng linear interpolation para makompute ko yung values na kailangan ko. Kesa mag-revise uh, pa ako ng example. So, gagawa din ako ng another video para dun sa linear interpolation kasi pwede nyo siya magamit sa mga data na meron kayo or table and magkataon na yung hinahanap nyo yung uh, points or actual data based on sa actual figures na meron kayo is wala mismo dun. So, pwede nyo gamitan ng linear interpolation. So, okay. Proceed tayo dun sa plastering or palitada. So, dito, ang kailangan din natin, syempre, floor plans, front elevation, or lahat ng elevation, front, left, right, and yung rear elevation, and yung detail ng wall and footing. So, sa plastering, area method pa rin tayo. Pwede na natin combine ngayon dito yung exterior wall and interior wall. Bakit? Since ang lalagyan naman ng plaster or palitada is yung face mismo ng CHB, so, Madi disregard na dyan yung width kahit magkakaiba ng width yan ang kinoconsider mo lang is yung face ng CHB so pwede mo na i-total agad yung area pero syempre i-deduct natin yung area below NGL bakit? yung walls below NGL hindi naman talaga nilalagyan niya ng plastering or ng palitada so i-less natin yan kasi yung area natin na 67.632 is total area no ang walls na merong CHB. So, less natin yung area below NGL. So, syempre, kuha na natin yung area ng uh, wall below NGL. So, perimeter multiplied by 0.4. Yung 0.4 dito galing yan. So, dalawang patong ng CHB na kalubog. So, dun sa perimeter is equal to 5.3 less mo yung tatlong width ng column multiplied by 2 since left and right. Then, uh, 5 less man ng 2.25 less 0.9 para sa door opening multiplied by 2 and syempre kailangan mo ding i-less yung andoon sa interior wall since kinumbay na natin yung area nilang dalawa so 1.6 plus 1.1 plus 0.83 so ang perimeter natin is 19.86 meters ngayon doon sa area uh, is equal to 19 18.86 multiplied by 0.4 is equal to 7.944 so net area ng plastering natin is equal to gross area or total area ng wall na merong CHB ito yun 67.632 less ng area ng wall below NGL so 7.944 so area natin is 59.688 ang tanong yan na ba yung ating area for plastering syempre hindi pa since dun sa lalagyan mo ng palitada ay both sides syempre labas at loob may palitada yan so multiply mo by 2 ngayon ang question ulit yan na ba ulit yung ating reference na area for plastering hindi pa kasi yung wall natin na consider dito kanina lahat ng may CHB then nilas lang natin yung area below NGL and Nag-multiply tayo ng 2 since both sides. Pero yung wall mo above roof beam, since ang lalagyan ng palitada dyan, is yung labas lang. Dahil yung nasa loob mo, covered naman na yan ng ceiling eh. So, dagdagasas pa kung lalagyan mo ng palitada. So, mas maganda, i-less na natin. So, area ng triangle, base time size, yung base mo is 5 meters and then yung height mo 1 meter. 
multiply mo ng 2 since sa harap at likod ang area ng triangle natin is 5 square meter. So, ililess natin yan doon sa 119.376. So, ang actual net area natin is 114.376 square meters. Ayan. Okay. Area method. Since meron tayong available area, ito yung ating uh, tabulation for plastering. So, meron tayong mixture class na class A, class B, class C, and class D. And then, meron tayong multiplier for sand. Okay. So, gamitin natin yung class B. And yung thickness ng plastering mo is 12 mm. So, area 114.376 multiplied by 0.144 is equal to 16.37 bugs or 17 bugs and then for the sand yung area mo 114.376 multiplied by 0 0.012 is equal to 1373 cubic meters okay so summarize natin yung data na nakompute natin so dun sa 5 inches na CHB meron tayong requirements na 687 pieces and dun sa 4 inches is 159 pieces and then sa cement is 67 bags and for the sand is 5.4 cubic meters ngayon kung uh, may price kayong hawak or gusto nyo malaman magkano uubusin or gagastusin lagi nyo na ng pricing per bag or per piece per cubic so mga computer na magkano yung magagastos natin so madaling masagot kung kakasya ba yung budget so yun guys uh, ganun ang pag compute ng uh, masonry works natin CHB, cement, and sand may mga method pa na iba, may volume method o 100 blocks pero ito pinakita ko sa inyo yung tingin ko na madali so depende pa rin sa inyo kung ano yung gusto nyong gamitin so okay uh, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel dahil mayroon pa ako mga i-upload na susunod dito na same structure ang gagamitin natin hanggang finishing, roofing, tiles, and ceiling. So, sana nagustuhan nyo and see you on my next uploads.